in my book, Gardening for the Uncommitted, it says at the very beginning that I'm not going to talk about cheating in it because I think that's a very keen thing to be doing in the garden. But here I am now talking about chitting. And what we're doing is chitting potatoes. Now, if you don't know the word, you might be thinking, oh, that sounds a bit active. That's a, that's, that's a verb, that is. That's a doing word. But luckily, most of the doing is done by the potatoes, not you. So selling seed potatoes this year, we're just doing them in little nets of 10. So that's ideal if you just want to try your hand, if you want to have a bit of a dabble, maybe you haven't got a lot of room. Now, chitting basically means leaving them somewhere to sprout. But there is a little bit more to it than that. What you want to do is they need to be somewhere where they're upright and where they're a bit spaced out. We're going baby blue Peter. The ideal thing for the job is an old egg carton. Luckily, we've just had pancake day, so I'm sure everyone has got one in the bin. And to make use of the lid, I've also cut up some old toilet roll cardboard tubes. We claim them from the hamster. Sorry, little mate, you'll have to find something else to chew on. Now, ideally, unlike with eggs, you're going to be putting them pointy side down. You can see on that. And that one's fairly easy to see. Some of the others, who can tell really? Really what you're looking for on the top is, hopefully we can see that, the eyes. And there's just little sort of round marks there. And that's where all the shoots are going to come from. Because the sea potatoes, you plant them up, and then out of these eyes, you get new shoots, which produces lots of new potatoes for you to harvest later on in the year. Because you don't plant out the potato, this is far too early at the moment. It's going to be kind of late March, April time that you put them out. So the chitting is just helping you get things going. It's not essential to do, but it's nice to keep you entertained. Yes, that one, you can definitely see it starting to shoot. You can see the eyes on that. So you just want to leave them somewhere nice and bright. Don't leave them in the dark. Not too warm, but you want to be out of the frosts and somewhere nice and dry. About 10 centigrade is ideal. Somewhere such as our lovely new shed that we have. So there we go, just put them in. Wait probably maybe four or five weeks. Hopefully by then the shoots have grown to about an inch and then you know you're ready to get going. 